anatomists need to be precise with their language. And instead of terms like top or bottom or up or down, um, the terms superior and inferior are used. Sometimes they're synonyms cranial meaning towards the head or caudal uh, towards the tail. Uh, so superior means moving towards the head or the portion of an anatomical structure which is oriented towards the head while inferior is away from the head or the side of an anatomical structure which faces away from the head. Note that here in the vertebral column there are different types of vertebrae. The cervical vertebrae would be on the superior end of the vertebral column, while the lumbar vertebrae and the sacrum and coccyx would be at the inferior end. When giving directions, you should, however, give the two points being compared. So just like there is no point which is north, north compared to what? Um, in the same way, uh, the thoracic vertebrae are superior to the lumbar vertebrae, but inferior to the cervical vertebrae. So you'd, in a question, you would have to specify, you know, is this structure superior or inferior compared to what? In the same way here, when considering the small intestine relative to the heart, the small intestine is inferior to the heart, and the heart would then be superior to the small intestine. But these are not obviously absolute, in that the heart is inferior to the head, and the small intestine is superior uh, to the knee. And so you'd have to specify in the question. In this question, the small intestine is inferior to the heart. Another reason anatomists need to know these terms is that when one looks at the picture of an anatomical structure, you have to know what view you're looking at. So for example, in these images of the brain, they are both pictures of the sheep brain, but they look completely different because one is the superior view and one is the inferior view. And depending on which view you have, you will see very different structures. In the same way, if you were looking at the skull, different vantage points on the skull look different. And if you were to ask which is the inferior view of the skull, um, it would be the image on the right. This is the uh, view of the skull from below. Finally, there are even examples of anatomical structures which have words like superior or inferior in their names. So in the midbrain, there are these two bumps which process vision and hearing. One is called the superior colliculus, one is called the inferior colliculus because one is above the other. Um, in the hip, there are two bumps on the forward-facing uh, side of uh, the hip bone, the ilium. Uh, they are called the ASIS and AIIS, the anterior superior iliac spine and the anterior inferior iliac spine. 